The sound you hear is what some experts claim to be a Bigfoot scream. Recorded in the state of Washington by a group of campers in 1971, it is regarded as the highest quality audio of the creature ever captured. Hello! Welcome to Bigfoot Real Encounters. We're glad to have you stop by. We'd also like to take this time to invite you to share your encounter. You can send your stories to the email bfrealencounters at mail.com where we will feature your story with all of the respect that it deserves. So send your stories in bfrealencounters at mail.com we look forward to hearing from you and your great stories soon. Hello and welcome back to Bigfoot Real Encounters. Also like to have a hearty welcome to any new viewers out there. Glad that you clicked on this video. While I hope uh, you folks are finding the Bigfoot Anonymous private Facebook group that was just started. It is uh, intended for people who have had encounters who would like to get together with other people who have had encounters so that you can uh, swap stories, uh, talk things out, uh, maybe begin a type of healing process because as we all know, a lot of these encounters, most of them in fact, are not very good ones and people have problems with them they get a form of PTSD from it and uh, getting together and talking things out with others who will take you seriously and not shut you down call you a liar poke fun at you ridicule all that other crap that has happened to people on this subject for decades if you can get together with people it helps it is a start. It's not meant to replace any type of therapy or any professional help or anything like that, but it's a start. It's a place to start. Just a tool, just a beginning, something to add to whatever other helps that you may need. And I hope that it is uh, beneficial to you. Use the rooms, the chat rooms, the video chat rooms, uh, get together, talk with each other. I'm not going to benefit from this group at all. I'm not going to take any stories and put them on my YouTube channel. You don't have to worry about any of that. I pop in from time to time, join in some conversations. I enjoy it. I've had my own experiences. If any of you all have had experiences and you talk about them there, they're going to stay there. That's the rules of the page, of the group. If you want to have those encounters uh, put up in a video, you're going to have to do it separately. You're going to have to go to the, the email, bfrealencounters at mail.com, and send it in that way. That way I know that it can go up publicly on the YouTube channel. Okay? Great. Well, let's get into some stories now. Somebody had a comment said it took five minutes to get to the stories well it took a minute and a half past the introduction to get to helping people so anyways we're going to get to the stories we're going to go to the state of georgia we're going state by state and uh, this one took place in mid-december 2018 and uh, it says here i golf three times a week and often up to a one-hour drive from my home in Peachtree City, Georgia. I was very close to my home and near Fayetteville, Georgia. I was with three other grown men and no, we had yet to open any cold beer. <laughs> we drove up to our tea box and a friend yelled at me, Dave, look, there's a Bigfoot. All of us were about 40 yards or so from a large black creature walking from left to right 
up a slight hill. I watched for just a few seconds and swung the golf cart back up the hill and much closer to the woods and in the direction that the large creature was walking. Mid-December, so near 50% of the leaves were off the trees. Bushes that uh, just several days before would not be able to see through. Anyway, I got closer to the woods and in that general direction of its walking. Seemingly walking straight at us was a seven-foot or large, large black creature. I asked my buddy sitting beside me if it was walking at us, but he told me to go, go, as he wanted no part of what we were watching. I yelled at it, and down it went behind a log or some debris. It got up after just a few seconds and began to walk away from us. I kept yelling and it turned as the sun hit it and I saw the left side of its large shoulder and left side of its face. It appeared to have fur like a beautiful jet black mink coat. The shoulders and arms were huge. We watched for just a few seconds as it disappeared over the hill going back the way it came into the wooded area. Deer hunting season had just begun in Georgia, so it likely was pushed from its normal residence south of Whitewater Creek Golf Club and Fayetteville, Georgia area. Near Griffin, Georgia, a Bigfoot was seen by a homeowner and a police officer who got a good imprint of the large footprint. It was near Zebulon, Georgia, that is south of Griffin, Georgia. Well, there you go, folks, on a golf course. I don't think you'd find me trying to chase one down in a golf court, however. <laughs> My goodness. I think I'd be with the other guy. Go, go, let's get out of here. All right. Let me take a second here to encourage you to like, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. Take a look at Jeffrey Lilly's books on Amazon. There's some links down there. Good children's books. Good way to get the conversation started. To let your children know the reality of the Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Whatever you want to call them. And to get the conversation started. We need to pass along the information. So that while out hunting, fishing, camping, picnicking. All those wonderful things that we like to do. Should we come across one? will not be all that surprised it will lessen the impact upon us and we'll have an idea on how to behave also keep in mind there are other things out there okay for the most part you know, the Bigfoot are somewhat predictable in their behavior in that they show it themselves to us they chase us out of the woods at times, and uh, sometimes it's because they have their little ones there, which has been uh, surmised by people seeing little ones come out from behind trees as they leave after they've gotten chased out, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Other cases and stories I've heard, a Sasquatch chase somebody out, and within a short period of time, a flash flood comes through, and other things like that. And people have gotten the impression that they were uh, being chased out because there was something else in the area and the Bigfoot were protecting them from it. And Bigfoot outright helping people, saving their lives, that type of thing. So, and there's always is the mean ones. But there are other things out there. So we must always be on our guard out there. So we got to get the conversation started with our children. And Jeff Lilly's book, Bigfoot and Stellar Jay's River Day, is a good place to start. So check out the links in the description below. Now we're going to go to Carroll County, Georgia in the summer of 1999 in July. Now this one reads... My brother and I were fishing on Wolf Creek in an area known as High Shoals. This area is heavily wooded with steep terrain and a rushing waterfall. 
We had parked our truck at the top of the hill and walked down the trail to the creek below. We had been fishing about an hour and had no luck when we decided to move upstream. We got our gear together and started walking up the shoals and heard a large splash hit the water up ahead. We first saw it, it was a rock that had rolled off the side of the steep terrain when suddenly a large black brown human-like creature was slashing at the water with its long arms. The creature never knew we were there and we must have viewed him for two to three minutes playing around in the water. We never moved, only making eye contact with each other. Suddenly, it darted off to the right up the steep terrain, not knowing whether it had seen us or not. We never got a good look at its face. It must have been six to seven feet, around three or four hundred pounds, and looked very healthy. We were around 25 to 30 yards from it. We kept this to ourselves for quite a while, only sharing it with family members. We've returned to the area several times and have never seen it again, but have seen unexplained markings where no bear is to be in the area. Once again, an encounter of a different flavor, shall we say. Uh, the, it was obviously a juvenile, six to seven feet tall, just playing and splash around in the water, and they were watching it, and uh, all of a sudden it took off. It must have become aware of their presence. That would be my guess. But uh, they never really knew that that's what it was. And of course, they kept it to their self, and we all know why, don't we? That type of holding in your stories and of encounters uh, should no longer be necessary. It is more acceptable now than ever before. I've been saying this for several videos now. The means to tell folks that will believe you and do care about it is here. You're listening to the format right now. And of course, I'm not the only channel. And I'm not the best one doing it. There are others who do it better than me. I'm just getting started. But regardless, it is a platform for you to share your story. Get it out there. Finally get it off your chest. Or you can go to a private Facebook group and talk to others who have had their encounters. No longer any need to hide what happened to you. You didn't ask for it. There it was. So, the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Everybody's interested in it now, evidenced by the, all the TV shows, and there are many of them out there, as well as all the YouTube channels uh, talking about it, uh, showing the videos of it, showing evidence of it, and the, the, the telling of the stories of it, such as mine. And we're going to try to keep it real here, uh, Bigfoot Real Encounters. So, uh, I'm not going to be giving any type of fictionalized stories which some web some uh, YouTube channels do and that's fine there is a place for that and a time for that and I just choose not to have that on my channel we're just gonna let people get their stories out if you got a story to share send it in BF real encounters at mail.com and uh, we're here to help you we're here to let you get it off your chest clear the air so to speak it is acceptable. We're going to believe you. We're going to treat you right. So let's get on to another story here. And here I think I found a nice one. Back in 1974, in June, back in Douglas County, Georgia. Now this one reads, I was 18 years old at the time and riding cross-country endurance for a local ranch. I've been riding uh, for the ranch for four years when this event occurred. I had been out training a black Arabian stud that day, riding about 20 miles in the woods. It was getting dark, but the moon was full. I was riding on a wide dirt road with woods on either side. Just after crossing a wood bridge, I was going around an S-curve in the road when the horse started acting up. I then heard a rustling sound in the woods next to me. Next came a loud scream from the same area. I looked and saw a pair of eyes. They were greenish in color. 
What happened next went by very quickly. Whatever it was jumped out from the woods next to me and grabbed the saddle and back of the horse. As this happened, I jumped off the saddle onto the horse's neck, let go of the reins, and put my arms around the horse's neck. The horse bolted and ran. I didn't slow down or look back. This thing was face to face with me. I remember the face and hands most of all. It had a hand, not a paw. The hands were huge with hair on them and long nails. The saddle, an endurance saddle, was very lightweight without a horn. Leather was torn and had the deep scratches or gouges in it where the creature had grabbed and pulled at it. It had very human-like features, but thicker and scary looking. The hair around his face and neck was very hairy and wiry looking, blackish brown with piercing eyes and it had teeth, but missing some and all yellow. This thing was massive standing upright but a little crouched. I was on a horse that is 16 and a half hands and was looking at almost straight in its face. This was not a cougar or bear. The next morning I returned to the ranch to look at the saddle and the horse. When I arrived and asked about the saddle the owner said it was gone and the, or and the horse had been studded out. He also told me he didn't want me riding for him any longer. Oh my. Now that's something. That's one reason why people keep these encounters to themselves for such a long period of time. Uh, this thing happened and that uh, rancher that owned the horse, he shut that thing down real quick. He had a business to run. And it affected his business and he got rid of the rider. The man working for him. So this guy lost his job because this Sasquatch, who happened to be a jerk, jumped out and did all those things. Actually attacked him in the horse. And he lost his job because he got attacked. Isn't that something? That's why we have to ride this train while it's out there, you know? Uh, we're on a roll. People are accepting it. They're listening. They're watching the TV shows. They're clicking on these uh, YouTube videos. They want to hear the details. They want to learn about the Sasquatch. So let's tell them. You've got a story in you. Let's tell it. Let's get all the information out there. Let's force the hand of the people that have the information. Whatever information they have. They might not have all the answers either. But they certainly have some. So let's get it out of them. Right now is the time. BF Real Encounters at mail.com. Send in your story. So we'll, I'll tell it faithful. I'll read it word for word, except for any cuss words. Also, like, share, subscribe. Check out the links in the description below. Also, be aware of your surroundings. We still have a couple weeks of summer left. Camping, hiking, fishing, vacationing, going down the trails, watch the tree line. Listen for the tree branches cracking behind you. Once again, another great story. Thanks for tuning in. Please share your encounter. Email us, bfrealencounters at mail.com. Your story is very important. We will treat it with the respect that it deserves. Also, be sure to smash the like button share and subscribe thanks once again we look forward to hearing from you soon watch out for our next video maybe we'll feature yours have a great day